Hey, little boy. No, no, you can go through the dog door. Don't do that. Oh my goodness. Hey, sugar. Okay, so it is Thursday mid-morning. Um, I'm taking a lunch from a lunch break from work because Sears is here fixing our washer. They came, they ordered parts, the parts came, and now they're fixing my washer so I can wash clothes. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to go ahead and film my garden tour for this week since it's not raining. I don't think it's gonna rain at all today, but it's a nice, beautiful, almost noon morning. So we're gonna start up here on the deck and I'm gonna show you what's going on on the deck and then we'll head out into the different beds. So, we'll start here. The ivy, it's looking really good. You know, really, really good. And then, the citronella, the citronella plant is a, so huge. I'm going to have to buy another pot. I was telling James this yesterday to go ahead and pot it another, you know, to, because there's two different stems now right here. I have to put one in one pot and the other, you know, keep the other in this pot, but it's gotten huge on this one. And then my um, begonias, they're doing good except for this side. It's looking a little pitiful, but that's okay. It'll, 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 it'll take cold and it'll be fine. So this citronella plant I placed out here because it just wasn't getting enough sunlight. Um, and then it started raining, so I was like, good, it can have it. Now it's starting to, the second stem is starting to really bud. I mean, it looks really good. It doesn't look as big and filling, fulfilling as the other one, but this one looks really, really good. So I'm just going to let it sit out here and keep going. Um, I've got to check because this does not look like lavender. It could be. I don't think it is though. I'm gonna check to see what this is. I put lavender in here. I don't know what this is. I'm hoping it's not a bunch of weeds and I have no lavender growth. Well, I might right there, but we'll see. I'll, I'll check, I'll put down here, down, the, down here what that is, if it's a weed or not. And then my aloe vera is doing great. Um, nothing has, from the last, whenever I put seeds in this, nothing has germinated in these two. And then my uh, cherry tomatoes, if you remember the stalk had broke. But look at it, it's, it's doing good. But look at this yellow pear tomato. Looks beautiful. And then if you look here really, really close and get to focus, we got some germinations. I really sewed that pretty pretty thickly. I want to say I cannot remember what's in here. I'll just put it in the bottom of the screen. I'll have to go back and read what's in my journal. And we're going to go over here. The cat has not dug up any more of the bulbs that I planted. But this is one of them that I planted as you can see. It's starting to have this is, I believe is the um, bleeding heart which was over there which my cat did not like. So, put it over here. These are aspenth, aspith, aspils, uh, fake goat beards. They're doing really good. My yesterday and today and tomorrow is doing great. Along with the hydrangeas and my hosta. I've got to weed a little bit, of course. You know, it's been raining nonstop, so it rains. And then it gets nice and warm and then it rains so I've got a lot of weeding to do but yesterday I came out about six o'clock in the evening and I just looked around and I could see all this growth and I felt so blessed because considering where we were living last year um, with all the rain with everything going on in February me and James were like we would have had to leave that house so we feel so blessed that we were able to move here and to be able to grow this flowers and these, this food and everything i mean super excited about it it just makes me so happy it makes me happy that i planted a seed 
and this is what came up. So I did pinch my Snapdragons yesterday, but let me show you the flower bed here. Just an overview. So um, my sweet peas here, I don't know if they're gonna make it or not, but this rose bush, it's got new growth on it. It is growing. Um, and then a few weeks, uh, I think it was last week, I pinched all my zinnias except for this one because there was already a bulb on it. I cannot wait to see what that, that bloom. But I pinched all my zinnias. I pinched all but two of my snapdragons because if you see there, if it'll focus, um, that snapdragon's got a bud on it and then that snapdragon's already got a bud on it so I couldn't pinch the tops of them. Um, these Gila Globes, I mean, they're, they're, they've taken off. I'm going to start sprouting some flowers. I'll actually try to put a picture here about what they look like when they're full, full grown. Uh, they're gorgeous. Um, that Cosmo right there is about to start blooming. And so, look at this. I mean, isn't that gorgeous? So, this is how it goes. This is the first bloom. It's all nice, and it feels so velvet on the inside of the, the, the uh, petal. feels like velvet. So, it goes there. Actually, let's, let's, yeah. It goes this one first. That's what it blooms. Then it goes to that color. Then it goes to that color, then that color, then that color. So it's it's always changing. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm in love with Cosmos now. I just I truly am. Um, my um, garlic, it's starting to yellow. Yay. Just got to wait for over half of it to yellow. It'll be fine. My calla lilies are doing great. So let's move over here to this place. Um, we'll start here. I moved my strawberries out here. I haven't had any more buds on it since the first time, so I'm hoping that being out here in the sun with the heat, it'll start budding up and we'll start getting strawberries again. This is the Gila Globe stuff. As you can see, it's just taken off. It does this. It gets really, really big and uh, fat with leaves and then it starts growing upwards mint i'm about to make a lot of mint water mint from and put it in our water um it's just looking so healthy and beautiful this um i think my cat i know my cat's been digging there and i plant sunflower seeds so i'm gonna have to replant sunflower seeds and then i'm gonna cover this completely my chives are doing great we were looking at this last yesterday me and my husband and my rosemary has grown it hasn't grown like huge, but it's grown. And oh, it smells so good. I'm so happy because this this rosemary was under like two feet of snow. So I'm so happy about that. Um, this is Genevieve basil. It's starting to take off. And then the lemon basil is right there. Not as big as the Genevieve. But it's okay, we got time. You know, I was starting to sweat stuff about, you know, your garden not growing fast enough, and I'll show you what it looks like now, because it's growing. Um, these are my Galandrias, and, is it Galandria? Gladiolas, oh my goodness. Um, and it's starting to do a fourth leaf, which means um, they're about to start producing their flowers and then get a little bit higher and then the flowers will come up super excited about that cannot wait sweet peas you see this they're starting to bloom isn't that gorgeous i've got a bunch of them they're going to start blooming really soon all over the place kill that mosquito all right you know it's wet so there's a lot of mosquitoes so let's talk about this bed this bed is the carrots and onion bed 
and I was actually getting really worried about my onions and my carrots and everything but whenever I came out the other day and in this morning I'm starting to see that I planted my onions from seeds so I don't know if you can see it on the screen but let me uh, right here they're starting to get really big to where where I can just stand up and see the onions so that's good my carrots are starting to grow I'm not sure what that is I'm just gonna let it grow and we'll find out from there later on but my onions are starting to get bigger my carrots are starting to pop up and that makes me happy um because I was actually worried about that majorly um we planted sunflowers right here and there it is it's starting to bud um also i have this is the jalapeno or the pepper um bed and me and james also talked about we're gonna buy some already started jalapeno pepper plants but i've got plants popping up all over the place my camera is low on battery look there's mr archer he's gained like two or three pounds he's gotten big He's become my garden kitty. Even though we need to talk about you getting into my beds. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. All right, let's go to this area. So this has a lot of stuff in the beds. We'll go back here first. These are cherry tomatoes. As you can see, we're starting to bloom up which makes me so happy um now some of my stuff is the leaves are yellow and it's because it's not nitrogen deficiency it's we're getting way too much we're getting a lot of rain so i was reading about it, it says yes you know rain soaked we'll do this this is chamomile that's chamomile and on this side we do have i have quite a bit of this from here over it's green tomatoes German green tomatoes and from here over is um, Abe Lincoln's and I have just a few of those not very many they're right there right there um, now my ground cherry tomatoes cherry tomatoes is that ground cherries I planted right in this area and I was looking yesterday and there's like i have to look for it really hard but there's like one little thing popped up and i'm like okay i'm just gonna sit on it it may take a while we're just gonna sit and watch and wait um you can see i've got carrots popping up right there this is lettuce which hasn't it's right there there's one lettuce that's germinated um broccoli i've got some broccoli that's germinated there and then on this bed my leeks are starting to get bigger. You can actually see them. This is mustard. It's getting a little bit bigger. And then my beans. I'm actually starting to get beans. So that hasn't germinated at all yet. That was planted last week. I mean, the potatoes they, they look awesome they, they're looking awesome um these beans are starting to produce beans and then my broccoli it's all starting to germinate completely um kale i've got a few kales popping up all over the place and then lettuce i've got some lettuce starting to come up um I've got my cucumbers are still growing this was spinach and I, and I didn't pull this part out these two out but I put kale in here and it's it's already germinated this is this is the only one that's popped up of the new thing of squash maybe there's one right there that I put right in this row right here last week um, watermelon 
I'm gonna have to cut no this is pumpkin sorry pumpkin I'm gonna have to come out and replant it because that's the only one that's germinated and then this is my watermelon this is my squash um, here's the deal I've got squash that's doing this but if I leave it alone it'll start giving it'll start putting more uh, leaves on it and everything and I've had a few flower but nothing so far so fingers crossed that is the vegetables my snapdragons in here is doing well and then we planted green tomatoes german green tomatoes here and as you can see they've already got one here one here they've already started germinating and it's amazing because i can come out in the morning and look around and see everything and then in the evening i will come back out and i can see even more growth because of this rain and this heat it's just absolutely amazing so i'm gonna show you the wild area um this is the the wild area um it's what we've been calling hey that wild area back there but we got look at that, isn't that beautiful this is to attract pollinators so but i did see looks like we have some daylilies popping up by here I knew there was daylilies in here, so that makes me happy. Then, go to the last bed, which is right here. Gladiolas are doing good. I need to really weed this bed. Um, this is my um, raspberry bush, and it's doing great. I pinched these and look at how big they've already grown again. These are my zinnias. And look at these calla lilies. Oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. These are white. This one's going to be purple. I'm so excited about that. Um, this guy back here, he's actually holding on to a fence over here. So I've got to re redo him where he comes up this thing, up this cage. But yeah, he's doing good. And there's a few rose bulbs on it. Like right here, I'm just waiting for them to start blooming again. Really beautiful. Buff Beauty is the name of this rose bush. Black, uh, blackberry bush is doing good. This blackberry bush I was worried about. And I was reading about it and it actually grows off new uh new wood so that's what's happening and my last uh gladiolas i mean because of all the rain this area gets so wet that it's starting to go that way i'll fix it later on probably today because i plan on weeding this area today if, it, if the rain holds out so that is week two of my garden tour. I really hope you do en you enjoyed it. I'm just, I'm so happy I see all this growth in it. It's inspiring. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'm going to go check on my washer. <laughs>